Hello everyone and welcome back to Priest Brothers Lines. So, I am going to be building this bow scale signal tower here. I found all the parts laid out here. I've already started. I got my base here, this concrete base that I made out of hardboard and painted it. So, I'll be building it on top of that. I've already started by painting the interiors this kind of green color. It is, in fact, this arbor green. It's a matte paint. We're gonna have very nice. And now I'm gonna start putting it together. So I've cut out the walls for the first floor. And I've painted them on the outside to fill in the mortar there. It's decent. This is actually a somewhat used kit. It had already been painted to some degree. So, some of it I kept and some of it I tried to redo, but I think it looks pretty decent. So now we can put the windows in, so we got all the windows and doors here, and then they have these little glaze pieces for the windows, so that'll be filled in next. So I'm continuing along, I have put together all four walls here, painted the interior, and now I'm getting ready to put it on the little pad here, but I do want to have interior lighting. So I put the little hole, drill the hole here, and this will go about here somewhere, right about there, and I'll have a little styrene pole that'll go over that, and we'll feed some wires through there. I will be using the just plug system for this. Speaking of just plug, one of the inherent problems with it is that both sides are rather large like these right here. So obviously neither of these would be able to fit that little hole, but the wires will. So what I'm planning on doing is basically just cutting off right about here, cutting that connector part off, and then I'll just reconnect it on the other side under the table. So that is one problem that I ran into, but now that I know more about wiring things, I don't feel as uh, apprehensive about cutting up wires and putting them back together because I have a lot more experience with that now. So that is something I will be doing with this. And both levels will be lit. Made some progress here. So I got a little styrene tubing here and put that on the base so that the wiring can go through there instead of just dangling through. And I drilled a hole in the bottom. And so that is going right through there. And then I attached it to the top. Just like that. So there's a light right there, and it'll sit right on top of it, right here. And you can see I have installed these switches as well here. So these were all molded in various colors, and so I painted it silver, uh, a shiny metallic silver, and then I added a little brown for the handles. So now I am waiting for the next piece, the tubing, to dry, and I'll glue it right to there, so that I'll have the next port for my light in the second story. And then once that's done, then I can start putting the walls up and getting some more detail pieces on. So that's the next step here. So updating some progress here. So this is the second level. And I painted the interior that same green color, and I kept the exterior the same molded color, put the windows in, the window screens and all that. I have the second level piping there, so that wire goes down to the bottom, and there are both right here. So both of these will be plugged into the just plug system, and we'll have lights in the first and second floor. We've also added this chimney part here, and I put in the, uh, the braces here on the sides as well. So I'm pretty much done with the first level there. Now I'm working on the second level, getting all the details in. Now I'm probably going to have to build a little chair, maybe a desk up here, and put a guy sitting down in that chair looking over the yard just to add a little something to it. And I've also added a little bit on the side here, so I've taken care of this part. Uh, so we've got the base here, which is just part of the, the floor slash ceiling. And then they give you these little brick parts to put on the inside to make it look like brick. And then this topper piece. Now this was actually molded in brown, 
Uh, but I decided to change it into more of a, like a metallic looking color. So it is a silver color. Oh, there was a foot on my foot, that was weird. Uh, so I changed it more into like a, a light gray. Uh, the color that I used was this, country gray. And when I do silver, I've been using this metallic acrylic paint. So that's what I've been using for things that turn silver, like those levers there. And so what I'm going to do here is I saw another video of someone uh, who was making this, this same model, uh, where this looks kind of weird here. So they just got what appears to be black ballast and put it down there to make it look like an asphalt rooftop. So that's what I'm going to end up doing. I'm just going to get some fine black ballast, pour it down there, glue it down, and that'll be it. So I'll just kind of cover that area in there. So next will be some more interior details, the final wall, and then we get the, uh, the light up and the ceiling and then all the exterior details. So we'll continue that on. Here's another quick little addition that I made. Just added a little chair and a desk and a guy there. So this is just some simple basswood, some strip wood that I painted and I just glued it together to make it look like stained wood. And then got a little cheap sitting figure. I mean, it doesn't have a face or anything. These are one of those packs that you get from China, the cheap ones. But you're hardly going to see them, but it's a nice little effect of adding a little chair there and a desk. Like someone is actually in there. When it's lit up, you'll be able to see them a little bit. So the main structure is now done. We've got the roof on. I right, put the little guy in there. You can see him there, I think. I got a light in the inside, and now it's just a matter of doing all the exterior pieces. So there's a bunch of piping on the outside, there's some details, and then of course the stairs here. So I need to cut all that stuff out, paint it, get it all glued together, then we can put it on our little display here. Alright, well here we are, we have finished this model. Everything is done on it. Uh, I might add a few signs on it, like some no trespassing signs, maybe a Clyde Yard sign on it. But everything is done, everything's been painted and put together there. So the piping here, it's molded in this dark gray. I was going to paint it a silver color, but I decided that those types of pipes, they, they could be that color. They wouldn't just be a, a raw aluminum steel color. Usually they would be painted, so I figured I'd just keep that same color there. Uh, I painted these barrels, so there's a few other pieces. There was this little like, storage cabinet, so I painted that a lighter brown color, and then painted where the hinges and the lock would be there. Uh, these There's a barrel here, so that was all just molded in the, the, the brown there, so, but I added some like shiny black there where the bands would be. There's this tank here, I'm not exactly sure what it's supposed to be, but some type of a tank on, I'm assuming concrete there. So I kept, it was all, it was all molded in gray. So I kept that the, I kept the, the concrete part that same gray, but then I painted the tank black. Got the steps on, that is the same color it was molded in. Uh, I do hope to weather this a little bit, mainly to cover up little mistakes in the places where the flash was, like right there, you can kind of see where it was, where it's light. So I'll just add a little, a little darkness to it, a little uh, dirt or dark paint, something like that, just to kind of cover that up a little bit. There's this little broom that came with it, so I painted the, the stick there, and there's another barrel there, some more of the pipe work added. Let me swing around the other side here. Got that barrel there. It's all in the shadow right now because of the, the roof there. And some more pipe detail. Again, I just kept it all the same color. So the last thing to do is to fill in this portion here with some ballast to make it look like a asphalt roof. But I'm very happy with the way it looks on the, the concrete pad that I made here. So now I'm ready to take it down to the layout, wire it up, get some lights on it. So let's go ahead and do that. 
Here we are on the layout, and I have placed the switch tower right where I wanted it to go. So I got it on the pad there. I did a little bit of weathering. I'm not great at weathering, but I added a little bit of color, just a little bit of darkness under the windows. And like where there'd be water coming out there, I assume dirt would kind of gather there. Also at the bottom of the steps there and in front of the door there. So just a little bit of darkness just to add a little, little wear to it. And I've started a scenic around it. So I started to add some dirt there. You can pretty clearly see the difference of colors between, uh, between this side and this side. So I'll have to blend that a little better. But that's all right. I can fix that. And once you add all the scenery stuff, you'll hardly notice. But that is what we've done. We've got it on the layout now. I've also wired it up. So let's see what it looks like with the lights off. So I put the two just plug lights in there like I showed you. And one on the top floor, one on the bottom floor. And it looks really nice. Now, what I've noticed is this model does have a tendency to have the glowing box effect. You can kind of see a little bit of light coming through the wall there and on top too. Now that can be fixed by painting it on the inside, which is what I did. Uh, but I guess I might have missed some spots. Or maybe it was in corners that didn't need paint. Same thing with the roof too. So the roof had a had a glowing effect to it. So I just lined the roof with electrical tape and that took care of that. But I'm really happy with the way it turned out inside. I'm glad I painted inside just to add a little bit of difference in there. We got the guy there sitting at the little bench that I made. You can see that there. And then the switches in the background look really nice. We can see them. Uh, well, not there. <laughs> Just those little bits of detail. There we go. Add a lot. Now, one thing I'm regretting is not putting any buildings in the bottom floor. And maybe in the future, if I do another one of these, maybe not light the bottom floor. So, I haven't quite decided yet, but the light output is nice. And I noticed that door there. You can't really see it on the camera. But in real life, I can see the door is slightly glowing. So maybe I should paint that. But that's all right. A little bit of information here. I added one of those lights, or two lights, I should say. One back there to kind of glow the front door there, or the back door, however you want to look at it. And I'll end up putting another standalone light over here somewhere, too. Uh, I want to put a special thanks to uh, Mark's O-Scale Trains, his channel, because he's the only one that I found who actually has a video on this particular model and how he built it. So I got some in inspiration from him. So thank you, Mark. And everyone else, I hope you enjoyed this build video. I'm really glad I got this. I bought another one of these to put over where my shed is. So that'll be a nice build and I'll, I'll know a little more about it this time to build it better. So let's have, let's do a little run by with my switcher. That'll be fun. This is the yard master. Do you read me? Over. Copy that. Read you loud and clear. Start up and stand by to pull. Acknowledged. Out.
will thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. More stuff coming soon, more running coming soon, and more updates coming soon. So thank you all. Please like and subscribe. Have a great day. This is Priest Brothers Lines, signing off.